So after I model 7-Eleven building, I move into this project and try to make it real. The reality on visual art depends on composition and some lighting, noise, object reflection and shadows. So I try to achieve this in this project and here I share with you. To go with much details or try to do something more. So first here I try to make these two models. So this item I already projected from the main texture. As you see here, I project the texture. And that was okay. And the next I try to add two cards here and one scale line. And that was perfect to my scene. So when I switch to render this reflected area here, it feels vibes and cool. So about the rain, I don't know, but I think I maybe make the, make it animation or something. So I make a rain system and it's just simple. And after that I already go with more details like the air condition here and I keep repeated so two in the main and one here on the side and I use it again here and with pipes and pipes was too simple and then about this cables or it gives the vibes of cyberpunk or I use uh, you can use curve too but I use geo cables and it's add-on you can uh, search about that I'm gonna leave link in the description and it's just simple if you have two building like this cube, let's say this one is building. We have another one. So you go here, create, and connect this face to the face, face to the face. And here you make the cables. And then you have the modifier menu. And you can customize it, customize the drip or how it's down or top, resolution or seats, randomize everything. So you can customize it from this way. And then I try to use uh, some photo scans for this part here. If you go like this. So it have more details than anything I should model it. I can model it. So it's part from reality. So I just add this. And only area appear in my, in my scene. And do the with ground and the stuff here. And I also add some details in windows, like this one, the dirt in window. And you can use its uh, brush or decals from uh, Mixer thing, the bridge. I use it from bridge, or Quixel. So, and about the lighting. And I also use some stuff I, or I was already modeled, like this foam booth here, or this taco deco car or this is a shop if you go here I was already modeled this before so I just use it in this project and then some photo scan and I use this one too and keep it array and this stuff for the parking if we switch to the render if you go here so let's talk about lighting so this one is just uh, the rain system, nothing here, on stop, so let's hide it. So now we have something like this, and about lighting it's too easy. So for the for the HDRI, as you see it's too low, if we had zero, it's not gonna be have too much effect, and that's the key, I try to make it like normal. So for the rain system I'll try it to make it simple. So the drain system is basically like just a mesh. I have two planes like this and let's supply everything. One up and one down and down one. Let's go here. Modifier, add subdivide and we can make it six and six and drop it to symbol. And that basically if we accept it, it just subdivide. But we keep it like this. Then we go and Go here and dynamic paint and active canvas, add canvas and switch from the paint to waves uh, like this. And then we go into the top one. So first we go with a particle system and we can okay with this value here. So if you see this is the rain but it's not active or not affecting the ground. So first we're gonna go 
change this uh, this ball here to something else like rain or the water drop. So we're gonna go in just a new sphere or as a sphere like this one. Make sure you're in overlay like this. GZ. That basically is something like the rain, but it's too small. So this is the water. So we're gonna go here in particle system and drop down to the rain, switch from the halo to object. And we can locate our object, something like this. And we're gonna give it material like a glossy material. And we can customize rain as we want. And then we need to make it effective with the ground. So then we go here. Dynamic paint and switch from the canvas to brush. After switch it from the canvas to brush, hit add brush and switch the paint from mesh volume here to the particle system and locate your particle system. Then we can go here and uh, in this one get a modifier and particle system and then we go with uh, scale. So we're gonna scale the rain down. So maybe this one gonna be four or three and select random as scale. So we start. Now we go down here and chill it moves. And you're gonna see something like rain like this. If we switch to the material and go to shading. So let's go to top here and give it something like glass. You can uh, use glass material for any anywhere. Like this, and uh, for the asphalt here, I'm gonna go anything. Now as you see as like this, if you go and zoom in with uh, with the drop rain or the rain, you're gonna find it like glassy or close to the perfect and with a good lighting and HDRI you're gonna give uh, you're gonna get something good. So that was uh, about rain. What else? And this building from my cat I already used worked on and worked with another. I'll keep sharing with you. And after I set the HDRI and stuff, with a good lighting here inside and outside, let's collect lighting. So that's the light collection, so about lighting HDRI is too low and then about uh, light lamps here, everything is dark, I used a mesh in here as a light and car, uh, car lighting here. The first one was uh, outside, which we can disable later. The first one was inside 7-Eleven and the next was this shop here, inside the drug shop and the last one was on tackle or that shop here then I try one thing outside and last one was that in the middle the middle of the scene here and just work and about cars there is no worry everything you need is just to make sure you replace the glass here the glass of the car for uh, with a special glass material if you want or just uh, you can active transmission but for me, I I change it. 
think the roughness zero material and uh, transmission was one like this and for the body material I boost metallic and play around with roughness as you want that back to you but for me I think zero roughness is good or the perfect so it's gonna bounce with lighting or lighting gonna bounce with it so zero roughness and about the back here that was just uh, just to the mission but if I have uh, much details for this car I wasn't have uh, too much details with uh, texture but if I have texture I'm gonna connect the base color if I have like this uh, principal BS BSDF so I'm gonna connect the base color to the, to the emission here and here and I'm gonna boost it so it's gonna have uh, like more details but for this scene I just use emission and that was good and I try to replace everything I can do it and here's this to is zero roughness if you go just color you can change it if you want to make it metallic or stuff or even car carbon but just to zero roughness and boost the metallic and that was it so I hope I will end this uh, in a couple of days I was uh, working it slowly but I'll try so uh, I hope that was simple explain and hope you like the project but if you want to learn how to make specific things like air conditioner stuff I recommend to watch the uh, Zebra or Zero Bio. This guy on YouTube, I have I learned from him too much, so you can just check it. I'll leave link in the description. And I already add some trees here like this, this too to just make like uh, foggy or some hiding noise in the night. So the visual gonna be in night. And I don't know what should I add here. So if I leave it like this, it's too dead. So I, I add this one to just make uh, destruct or you know this feeling here to this volume cube and I can just go with this I try to play around with colors I think this one was perfect with the old one so I'm gonna leave it here and make it more and then after I done with this project I go with different cameras I try to add a uh, human here in the streets and fix the wires and trees everything so then I'm gonna go show you how I take my shots here so I took this shot as a chili shot with Supra the two Supra and my setting for the camera was normal with the nor normal lens here and I take this one but I can disable the volume here. This one was a uh, dump. In the next week, I'm gonna go with uh, post processing and Photoshop something to try to to give it more reality. So this was the basic shot here. The raw render. Then I go with colors and add some moves here destruct and make it uh, like normal and that was motion motion blur here so if we go like this and go blur and motion blur if you see as I if I set it at low value like this maybe six or gonna give you the feeling of reality something of blurry here and mix mix stuff but I use it in low value and I just go with uh, with this one and don't destroy the, uh, this alphabet here for store then I go with something in lighting here then with color texture and noise so the noise gives you more reality and like this go like the old film the old camera shot so i hope that was useful and um, have fun